Şöyle şeyler. Ito yung panila dati, yung kanang tubig. Wala nang picture, sige. Jesus Christ, eh. Who can I Jesus Christ, yeah? Ibrahim Muhammad Al-Istakir. Photographer. Geographer. Al-Masabi Kuang Manglik. Tignan mo ate mo. Ate mo. Ate, tignan mo yung tsura ate ang bogey, oh. Tapio, king address, spring of water, and the garden of Jesus. Madian lies in the red city. Bronze memorial inscription with the first stone. Oh, yung stone naman na paokit. And sacred the devotion. Stone record. Just like the Ten Commandments, it was written in the stone. It was written in the stone. Okay. 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 Walang ilaw kasi. Ang tayo ka mag-ilaw ka. 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 Nag-reflect mo si Rami? Si Rami. Sige, sige. Pag-ilaw ni ka. Hindi ka mag-ilaw ka. Pero hindi mo na mag-ilaw ka sa unahan. Sige na sige. Sige na. Stop 66 AH. Say hi. Say hi. 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 So, really, it's preserved. Yes. Tingnan mo yung mga itsura nila noon. 
食べます。うん。うん。Or it could be mentioned that the messenger of God came there during the Battle of Tabuk. And if you can read it before, it is written down that the Battle of Tabuk. And they were stirring up the spring with their arrows, and he said to them, Are you still stirring it up? So it was called Tabuk. Stirring, Tabuk. Ah, okay. Stirring it up, Tabukun Naha. The name before. Yes, Tabukunaha, it means like stirring it up. Uh, wow. That's why it became Tabuk. So it's shorter for Tabukun. Tabukunaha is Tabuk. Tabuk. That's why it is called Tabuk. Tabuk. Ah, wow. Okay. Bronze pala ang gamit nila noon eh. Kahit mga sing-sing bronze din. Kaya yung sa So according to Al Balawi, he passes through Tabuk on his journey to the pilgrimage in 1337, and wrote that Tabuk was a ruined town with a crow on top of every wall. Imagine when he came, he described that Tabuk. Was a ruined town with a crow on top of every wall. I don't know why he said like that. Maybe the book is a there's a crow. Crow means like maybe a dead people or something. Something like that. Yes, yes. Yes. And he said a ruined town. Maybe at that time when he came, it was at 137. So maybe at that time it was during the Battle of Tabuk. Okay, this one. Iba-ibang ano siya. Iba-ibang discount. Uh, Remember that when they came to Tabo, this is how they see Tabo. Madadaanan talaga siya. Mm. Mr. Saad, say hello. The metal is actually bronze. Yes. From the Ottoman era. So it means hindi to pinakalabo. What can you say about this heritage? Discovered. Discovered. Yes, sure, sure. Yes, Tabuk Four telescope to track Venus as it passed near the moon, and said his famous phrase, "Tricked by Venus in Tabuk." Oh. So these are the people who came and visited Tabuk. They're the one discovered. So I'll explain my story of Tabuk. Ottoman era, huh? Coffee, Turkish coffee pots on the title display. Edison. Assorted Ottoman coins. Read it, read it first. Coffee. Read it, read it first. Coffee. Turkish coffee pots. Also, wear face mask and then detroit. Share pa kaya pasan naman. English one. Sa English translation yung mahaba. Okay, I'll but. Batanuni and Tabuk. Muhammad Labib al Batanuni wrote the following about Tabuk in his book entitled Al Rila Al Hizazia. The railroad station in Tabuk is a small one and lies about 1,000 meters north of Quarantine and 300 meters away from the town. The houses of Tabuk are situated on elevated desert land and are surrounded by date palms. As as you travel to Tabuk, 
there's a lot of date palms actually when we came here. And some fields of corn. In, in it, there is the mosque which was built on the place where the prophet, peace be upon him, prayed and when he came to this era, area. And to the right was one entrance, it is the well whose water sprang forth from the prophet's hand. The water is very sweet. Nazim Tasha, who was supervisor of the railway, installed a motor which helped to keep the water clean. Wow. So it's men stubble. So, the book after Hizaz Railway ceased to operate. As you come along to Tabuk, when you travel from Al-Ulan coming to Tabuk, you will see uh, what is signs of railway at that time. There's still some remains. So at that time, Tabuk, after the Hisas Railway ceased to operate, it was during World War I. But Tabuk did not benefit from the expansion it witnessed at the beginning of the 20th century for a very long time. The events of World War I and the Arab Revolt combined to disrupt the Rizal's Hill Railway and eventually ceased it is to suspend operation. The town then entered a period of stagnation, which continued until the establishment of the modern Saudi state, when the region accepted the sovereignty of King Abdulaziz al Saud, Tabuk entered into a new era. It's a cannon? Yes, that is a cannonball! So this is exactly how it looks like? Yes, it's true. Oh, we have different sizes of cannonballs. But uh, unfortunately, there is no cannon here, so... Outside, maybe there is no one outside. But at this time, we can only see cannonballs. It is from the Ottoman area. Era, sorry. Bilil, la la la, anak kalam Bilil Barat, Hawa Kuais, Hawa Hawa, Jau Jau. Okay. This is the city. 